All right, I want to do a C do adjustment video. I haven't used my Garmin Navigator GPS yet. I've been out on my boat like three or four, three or four times already. Still haven't used this. So, but then again, I know to spot some fishing in. So, but well, here are the adjustments that I made to my Sea Do. I had an issue the first day trying to anchor. I couldn't anchor, so I went out and got a new anchor. And here's what I'm going with. This is my fishing pole setup. And I'm fishing out of Sportsman's Paradise. I'm fishing out of New Orleans, Louisiana. So let's deal with this. Let's get this camera turned around. So what we're dealing with here is the fishing poles I got are all of my reels are Stratic, right? I got the Stratic set up. Stratic, Stratic, the original Stratic. This is an all-star. Decent reel, decent. This is the Toad. This Toad with this Stratic is a savage. This toad, yo, the toad fish, the toad fish with the stratic, it's a savage, right? Now, with the anchoring systems, I tried so much stuff already. I was going to go with the big anchor today. I didn't deal with it. Fishing out of the south, like I do my net setup. I'm going with the small nets. I'm using these small nets right here. I'm loving these nets. These nets are getting the job done. That's my cover. I haven't even used the cover yet because I keep it in my garage. So we got, this is an all-star reel. We got an all-star and we got the toad and we're going with Stratic reel. So let's get this out of the way, right? I'm going to get another toad or two. So for the anchor on my sea dude, I'm going with the Cajun anchor. Now this is the big Cajun anchor that I think the six foot maybe, five and a half, six foot. I'm going with the Cajun anchor because I fish in out of New Orleans, out of Louisiana. I'm going with the Cajun anchor setup. I ain't got time to be dropping these anchors on this sea dude, playing around trying to anchor. I need to get in the water and I need to fish. So I recommend the smaller Cajun anchor. Now to stop the anchor from scuffing up your, your uh, personal watercraft, what I recommend is you go to Home Depot and you get this. This fits completely over the anchor when you're driving your boat. And I just use some little wrappers right here to wrap it up so I can keep this on my ankle while I'm fishing. And honestly, believe it or not, it doesn't jump around when I'm fishing, okay? So here's what I did today on the trip. As you can see, we got a big redfish up in here. Now, I don't really depend on uh, you gotta realize down here in Louisiana, we have huge fish limits, right? So our redfish limit down here in Louisiana is five redfish per person. Because our limits are five redfish per person, because the limits are so high, we need a way to deal with these fish. Because our, first of all, our redfish limits is 16 inches, right? 16 inches. This red fish is way past 20 inches, right? We keep five a person. So inside of my jet ski, I keep the, I got the fish bags. So I went out and we got the fish bags, right? This is one of the fish bags I got. I got the kale cutter and I had this buffalo gear fish bag. But as you can see the size of that red fish, five red fish not gonna go in here. That's not including the 25 speckle trout we get to keep. We get to keep 25 speck of trout, five red fish, 10 bass, unlimited white trout, and unlimited sheep heads, and five drums. So I'm gonna have an issue with keeping fish. My very first good day, when I run into the fish on my sea dude, I'm gonna have an issue keeping all of my, trying to keep my limit on my sea dude. So I gotta find a way. I mean, this is one red fish. What if I had three of these today? What if I, I got my, my limit of 25 speckle trout, which is what I normally do. So I want to do this quick video, this uh, update of my sea dude. I'm getting ready to clean it out, wash it down right now. But I go with the small nets. Uh, I keep fish bags and I got to invest into a bigger bag because the limits are, once again, the limits are insane here. Two people can fish this water, personal watercraft, perfect. This is the 2021 sea dude. Once again, I'm going with the Cajun anchor perfect for it. If you're fishing in bayous or places you don't have to anchor. Now, if I fish in deep water, which I'm not really fishing in a lot of deep water, 
I'll take this anchor and bring it with me. I had the other anchor, the copper anchor, the Cooper anchor. The Cooper anchor was not anchoring where I, it, it did not anchor where I fish at. So basically, this is my 2021. It's my baby right here. And we be getting the job done, Lee. I'm getting ready to clean it up. I haven't had any IDF issues with mines. I live in New Orleans, but my boat was shipped from Florida. Maybe that'll help some of you guys out there. And uh, I got my speakers installed this week. I paid for the speakers, but I got them installed this week, so I had to wait for the speakers to come. So I'm getting ready to wash y'all off. I want somebody to do a video teaching me how to wash the inside of this. They say just rinse it with water or something. I know how to do everything else, but y'all gotta, gotta help me with that. The Sea Dew team, take care of the board, man. So I'm about to get ready to hose it down, clean her up. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And uh, we getting ready to start some fishing. This is my third day out in a row. I got a 10, day, 10 days vacation, and I'm fishing 10 days in a row. So I'm going back out tomorrow. Also, I have the tights. I'm, I'm just, I haven't... I haven't needed them. I got the long tights and the short tights. I haven't used them yet. I haven't had a reason to use them. Um, I got my fishing shoes. Got my fishing shoes. Oh, here we go right here. No, it's not the Garmin anchor. But I tried so much stuff, y'all trying to anchor the first time. A lot of this stuff is overrated. Get that Cajun anchor. And that Cajun anchor. Get the small Cajun anchor. Look, I got the, the Sea Dew. Uh, which one is this? This is the I got the Freedom. I had a Freedom. It was like a hundred dollars, and I have the the Freedom. And the, which one is this? The Airflow. I like the Airflow more than the Freedom. Freedom look good with the Airflow is there. Yeah. Plus I got my C Do shirt on today. C Do y'all take care of the ball. What's happening? We going C Do everything. So anybody out there, y'all know you're on the page. I do a lot of fishing. And uh yeah, some uh high level sea do stuff going on. Right here I got my my worms, I got my my goat, got my goat ready. Got my I fish 80% artificial and 20% whatever else. You know we down here with the matrix. The Matrix is there, yeah. And yeah, I'll do our lunch at Dockside. Matrix shed, all that. So let me go ahead and get the cleaning once again. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. See you, 2021. We getting ready to get into some high level fishing. I'll shake.